Hey, I'm currently in Barnstable on the bike path alongside the River Tor. I've got about 50 miles today, 80k, and I'm trying to beat the thunderstorms. There is thunder and lightning due today around about three o'clock, which is where I probably should finish my ride if I get on with it. We are doing the Chalicum climb number seven on the official list today. Going to Ilfracum and Willacombe. Should be an amazing day. I mean, look at this. What a start already. Absolutely loving life. Oh wow, what a coastal road that was. So I left Barnstable, got on the Tarka Trail, that bike path is part of the Tarka Trail, which took me all the way to Braunton, the town of Braunton where the path ended. I've been gradually climbing ever since, apart from that long sweeping, beautiful coastal road. So bring on more of that. And now I'm heading up one of these famous North Devon steep climbs. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a bit more coast. I've realised I haven't bought a rain jacket, so if it does rain, I'm going to get wet. But if all the roads are like that one, oh, it'd be worth getting wet for. Although I am ill prepared, I've gone to use my Insta360 camera and the battery's dead. So obviously didn't charge it after I downloaded the footage. Idiot. Oh, Peter, absolutely love this. Gravel, coast, sunny weather. Uh, I don't think road bikes are supposed to go on here, but I'm going, because it just looks amazing. The things you find on Camus, eh? Just said bike path. Didn't say what type of bike, <laughs> but it did say bike path. I mean, what can ruin today other than getting wet? Well, getting struck by lightning and killed maybe, but. <laughs> wow. The places you can get to on a bike. Let's crack on. Now rain's not going away. I've got my fingers crossed that the uh, weathermen have got it completely wrong like they usually do. And it'll be somewhere else. And I get round completely scot-free. Yeah, this is amazing. Hutsborough Beach, I think it said. So that's Woolacombe and this is the Chalicombe climb which goes all the way up to the top there. So I've just got to go down the bottom and start the effort. But that was well worth it. <laughs> what a bridal path that was. Probably not on this bike, but we did it. Puts a smile on your face, doesn't it, when you, go, <laughs> you do something like that to your route. <laughs> not Pete's when he's with me, but... <laughs> uh, I love an adventure. What a stunning climb. Oh man, that's 16% all the way. I have to stop for two cars, I don't even know if I can get going again. Oh, I'm shaky. Just a minute. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie. Keep your feet as long. 
All right, so I've descended back down to the beach. That was one of the toughest climbs that I think I've done for a while. It was just solidly 16 to 18%. You can see it in the background now as you go, uh, go along the beach. Man, <laughs> I don't know why I've descended all the way down because I've got to go back up again, haven't I? But anyway, <laughs> that was tough. There were, the car overtook me on the way up and there was cars coming down and they were both stuck by side by side so I had nowhere to go. Completely ruined my comm attempt. <laughs> but anyway, no, the truth was, I was glad to stop. That was, that was hard. Tough to get going again though. And I probably could have walked up quicker. <laughs> there we go. Chalicum done. Now let's, uh, let's see where we're going next. It's uh, somewhere at one of those two. I would have thought. The views, man, views. That climb out of Willicombe to Mortahoe was just as tough as the other climb Chalicombe, but just not as savage. There was a few breaks in it. We seemed to climb up for quite a long time, but then I found that nice bike path all the way down to Wilfacombe. And uh, so far, no rain. It should have rained by now, so. The sculpture is called Verity by Damien Hurst. It has been in Ilfracombe since 2012, and at 66 feet high, she has an anatomical cross section revealing her developing fetus in her womb. Yeah. Of I don't know how to handle this. I keep spinning around, keep on counting my turns. See how the light from a candle is. Doing yeah, so it's Verity by Damien Hurst. I knew it was famous, just couldn't remember why. She's over there. And I'm going up yet another pick of a climb out of Vilfakim. <laughs> but what a climb to look out for though. There's some views. Devon, why go around? You go straight up it. Oh man. Anyway, here's up, up, and up a bit more. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. It still hasn't finished. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink. Oh, so there's the first few rumbles of thunder. That's my bike. 
<laughs> that's not the thunder. There have been a few spots of rain. I've got 33k to go. <sighs> Racing it back to Barnstable in the van now. It sounds like it's over there on the coast. So, uh, fingers crossed. Although I say race, I'm on yet another climb. <laughs> so we're not going very fast. So there we go, I got my head down once it started raining. Not only light rain, so it kind of refreshing, so I'm not even too wet to be fair. Uh, but it's obviously been raining harder in Barnstable because I got back and the roads are all wet. So uh, I've cut off about five miles of the ride. Uh, it was helped with the persuasion of doing so when I saw the turn was up a steep climb and I was already on the main road to Barnstable and the signpost said five miles. So I just got my head down, smashed it back into Barnstable. And uh, all I've missed is coming back into Barnstable over the bridge. But yeah, for the sake of making sure I stay dry and not struck by lightning, I think it was worth it. Anyway, what a cracking ride that is. That bike path and that coast at Ilfracoon, well worth doing. Um, the rest of it I've just been climbing ever since. Um, finally had a descent. Uh, had a Tesco um, delivery truck coming up the hill and uh, back to rim brakes. They don't like stopping, <laughs> especially on carbon. So a win for the disc brakes. Yeah, the Eagle Eye to Munch, you might have spotted. I had the canyon with me today. My climbing bike as I was coming to this part of the world and I have done a lot of climbing. Thankfully, she's quite fast on the flat. <laughs> so. Now just get back home and uh, eat some food because <laughs> I've not I've not stopped today because I've been panicking about that thunder and then when I heard those rumbles just as I was getting to the top of that climb I thought oh no but anyway I didn't hear any more just a little bit of light rain so I got away with it thankfully Chalakum done official climb number seven I think that takes me to 69 of the southwest climbs so only six to go now I was going to do Chimeway Hill as well on the way home but Nah, <laughs> save that for another day. So anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you again in the next video, which hopefully won't be too far away. Why?